Benedict Arnold bought the house land in 1770, 1771, and he built um, his house on that very site. That house was one of the grandest in town, one of the most beautiful houses. Had an apple orchard in the back, um, and Arnold, being a merchant and a, uh, a, a druggist and bookseller, uh, was also making money with smuggling. And so he built this tunnel that went from the basement of the house down to the wharf where his three sloops were and he could uh, ship things out of New Haven. We have an aerial photograph of that site in the 1940s before urban renewal and the Acme Tile Company is, you can see the facade of that building is, is there and that became the building that we know of as the graffiti building that's down on Water Street. And that gets boarded up eventually, the business goes out, and the building sits through the 80s and the 90s, uh, vacant, boarded up. And then there's a fire inside that structure and the city tears down the structure. I always looked at that land and said, I know Benedict Arnold's house was here. And so for years I researched that site. And I kept dropping maps over maps and found photos and all kinds of historical records of what was there. The one important thing is that nothing penetrated below that house. So when this fire happened and they tore down the building recently, um, I asked permission to do a test dig in an area of that house that I felt that the foundation was actually prominently still there. And I took a sledgehammer and I went right over and I basically drew an X and said this is where I'm going to start. And uh, I dug the first hole right there and within a couple hours I had uncovered the top of a wall and I basically could not have nailed it exact, more exact than that. The base of Benedict Arnold's house is still there. The entire foundation is still there we're given the ability to penetrate under this very thin layer of concrete. I mean, it's only three and a half, four inches thick. And now we can get down there and uncover the wall. I'm now finding brick, beautiful handmade bricks that were part of Benedict Arnold's chimney and part of his wine cellar and part of his smuggling tunnel. Interestingly enough, the center of the house is filled with landfill. Uh, Victorian landfill. Pretty little dish from the 1800s. But what I know is that from my aerial photographs and from my Sanborn maps from 1923, from my Beers map of 1888, I now can tell that nothing ever displaced the material around Benedict Arnold's house. That means that his privies from the 1700s all the way back into the 1600s when Morris lived there, those privies, those pits, those are filled with artifacts that date back to pre-colonial and colonial days. So what I'm recovering now in the site around the wall is material that was dug up and displaced by other structures in the area, but it's not exactly, the stuff that's in the center was the basement of Benedict Arnold's house and I'm finding a lot of brick, I'm finding a lot of the handmade wall, but the material that is from Arnold is going to be on the peripheral, it's going to be on the outside of that house and behind it, which is now the parking lot of the school. This is a, the most early colony along with Jamestown and, and Manhattan, uh, uh, you know, uh, New Amsterdam and Boston. This is one of those areas that has all kinds of material from the founding of America. The significance of this find uh, to America, it's not just New Haven. Everybody knows how Benedict Arnold was the trader, he lived in New Haven. This is one of those areas that has all kinds of material from the founding of America. So this foundation is not just a house foundation, it's part of the foundation of America. The amazing thing is that the, uh, the first dictionary, Webster's Dictionary, was penned on this foundation. 
So not only did the great trader of America, who was actually a beloved merchant here in New Haven, he was a really well-liked guy, he was a great tactician, a great general, a great officer, but he was slighted and he, he was pissed off. And so all the things we know about Arnold today are just one facet part of that land. And so then you go into the industrial age after all of this happens, after the house is gone in 1904, you now have this business on that site, but they never, never got rid of all that. It's still below. So what we're unearthing now is a part of what made America. Well, it's, it's just an amazing site. And so as I'm uncovering this wall, I'm envisioning all these great events that happened in America and especially in New Haven, Connecticut. This is our archaeological site. This is what's left to tell people all of these amazing things happened in New Haven. This is actually fragments of that time.